Yes, I'm still looking crazy with these twists in my head. But we are back from the grocery store. And I'm about to season my roast. Throw it in the crock pot. I like to use these in addition to my regular seasonings. So let's just jump right in because we already running late. When I go to the road, I keep centered by sleep on it. Take a trip on it. When I go, you can go slow. Wind it up on night. Baby, take your time. Let me know I go on. I go on. When you tell me you want, I go on. When the neighbors yell, turn down. We keep it going. Like, bum, bum, bum. Throw it back then, rotation. because we supposed to get rain and I would sweep it but I know it's probably going to be windy again and all the pine straw and everything just blows. All right y'all, my hands are freezing. It's cold out here. All right, I'm done. Hey y'all. Hold on, let me turn Mary down, girl. I'm listening to Mary. You know that um share my world album. Yeah. That's that's an all-time classic. Always going to be the best, never gonna go out of style, never going to lose its value, okay? Mary came through with that. But how y'all doing today? Oh, y'all look wobbly. Today is Wednesday. And can y'all believe, remember when I told y'all Sunday that I was not coming out of the house until it warmed up? I don't know, I think y'all shaking too much. Well, guess what? I did just that. This is my first time. I've been in the house for the last two days. And right now, it is 53 degrees. The last time I was out the house, it was 24. And it warmed up to 34, I believe. So, I stuck to my word. I was not coming out. Now, I will say this. It's 53 degrees, but it's very rainy, cloudy, and foggy. But that's fine because I could not stay in the house. Not another, <laughs> not another day. I'm not even going to sit there and tell y'all anything different. I'm trying to hold the camera so y'all don't shake too much. But yeah, I'm coming to a red light so I can really talk to y'all. I just could not bear staying in the house another day. It was like 
I was fine with the two days. Like, I really got a lot accomplished. It, it, it surprises me that when I do stay in the house like that, I get a lot done. But, um, I was not playing. But I had to get out of there today. So, I am on my way in the fashion, um, uh, not the fashion hall, the, um, the H&M and Zara haul that I did. I showed y'all that I was going to wear a blazer with some lace leggings. Well, that has changed because the weather because I kept thinking like well my cousin found out that we weren't able to get like reservations but we can do a walk-in so we don't know like the proximity of like how far the restaurant is like maybe where we have to park or any of the other things that we may do if it's anything else that we're doing around that area so I was like you know with the weather being so fickle and it being cold one minute warm one minute or decent one minute I don't want to risk um I don't want to risk having that kind of outfit on and then having to like be uncomfortable because I'm cold or because whatever, you know. So I was like, you know, let me just go with something I know I'll be comfortable with. So I ended up ordering a silk brown pajama set that's trimmed in black. And now I, I kind of fit, I already know what shoe I kind of want to wear. And then I also order like a gold layered necklace to give it like, like a, um, I can't, like an edgy look, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to wear for the birthday dinner as my pajamas. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to do. 39 things at the same time I'm trying to read this text um but yeah um but that's that's what I, I'm I was saying all that to say I'm sorry y'all I just totally lost my concentration I was saying all that to say that I'm going to stop by H&M to return that blazer that I was thinking about wearing with the lace leggings and then I'm also if you can see back there that picture and that little statuette thing that I bought for my desk is still rolling in the back of the car too. So I'm, I'm going to take that stuff back to H&M. And then I'm going to meet my husband at his shop. And we're going to go grab um, some Thai fried rice from this restaurant that we like to go to. That's probably almost an hour from our house. But why not? Like I said, I've been on lockdown <laughs> for two days. So I am more than happy to ride. I love the front chose the house this house that's getting built is absolutely beautiful and i just want to tell y'all what i had going on tell y'all i kept my word about being in that house until it warmed up because i am not built for the cold no more <laughs> these old 43 year old bones ain't built for the cold no more okay all right so i see y'all in a minute um i'm about to pull up at h&m so i see y'all in a minute i'm not gonna take y'all at h&m because y'all have been there for the last two or three vlogs i feel like <laughs> so I'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs> hey y'all. Today is Thursday. I think today is like the 20... What is today's day? 25th. Sheesh, today is the 25th. I'm on my way to um, meet my daughter she's probably she's just a little bit ahead of me but i'm on my way to go to the oral surgeon with her because she's going to need oral surgery on a tooth that never grew out of her gum like it's a whole thing that should have been done when she had braces um and i hate it when i say i i hate to use the word hate but i very much so disliked the orthodontist that she had terrible my youngest daughter orthodontist was the best like they did an awesome job okay let me turn this because it's trying to focus on my mirror sorry i'm getting blurry hold on i'm coming around this curve so it's gonna turn around my, my camera is on a on a gimbal so it moves with me <laughs> So it focuses. I'm going to actually change where my camera is, but turn it more this way so it don't show as much in the mirror. But yeah, I just thought I'd come in and, you know, just kind of see 
where everybody is because I feel like I don't know ever since the new year YouTube don't feel the same to me I don't know why it's like the girls the late I'm not gonna say girls but the women that I watch aren't as cheerful they're not as um, happy they're not you know and they've expressed that quite a few of them have and I'm like wow 2024 ain't starting off the way <laughs> we expected it to start off is it it'll get better you know for me this is only year two for me. I'm still very much so excited about doing YouTube now. Don't get me wrong. I'm very much so excited about that. But enough of that because we're not trying to be Debbie Downers on this channel, okay? We all about the good vibes and the positivity, transparency, things like that without oversharing because everything is not for everybody. Some things, the only person that probably knows the most is my husband, which I talk to him about every single thing. Okay. Like that is my BFFOL for real. Okay. But um yeah, everything is not for everybody, you know. So yeah, but I am like I said, I'm on my way to the um to meet her at the oral surgeon, and then when I leave there, I'm going to have to go back to the house, pick up my youngest daughter. She has to be to work at four, and then I told y'all yesterday that I was going to um, home goods well me and my husband we ended up going out we ended up going out to eat we went to home goods um i went to Ulta because i just had to pick up some under eye cream i feel like that's all that's it yeah that was it so i went back to home goods i went to home well i went to two home goods i went to the home goods by the restaurant that we went to just to kind of to look because that place is like an hour away from my house so i just wanted to see what they had what they didn't have any well actually they had a book i did buy another um coffee table book a kinfolk entrepreneur book um that i'm gonna get a clear stand to go on but i went to home goods the first home goods i went to was to take back that picture in that statuette well how about i get to the register right and i'm telling the, i'm the lady she was bad like getting the bag ready because she thought i must have thought that i was about to purchase it. I was like no it's a return she was like oh you have your receipt I'm like yeah I'm all with confidence I'm going in my bag going to get the receipt girl I said ma'am I'm sorry but the receipt is sitting on my desk I knew exactly where the receipt was I don't know why for whatever reason I thought I picked the receipt up and put it in my bag but I didn't so let me go ahead and um turn my music on and then get here and I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. Today is, I'm all of y'all grill. Today is Sunday. All, look at all my stuff fell out of my purse. This is one thing, uh-oh, sorry, y'all. I hate about carrying this purse is that the top don't close, so stuff just falling everywhere. But I am here at Target, 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 which I haven't been to in quite some time. Uh-oh, I don't know what I got y'all looking at. I'm here at Target. Today is Sunday. I think it's like the, what's today's date? Like the 29th or 28th or something like that. But I'm in here to get some stuff for my trip and then also some personal stuff that I got to pick up. Come on, I'm coming this way. I'm going through this way. Got that one with me. It was warm. Oh, oh, that's my feet. It was warm yesterday. Now it's chilly today. So we out here looking crazy. Let me turn y'all around. No, I won't turn y'all around. <laughs> I can't believe how warm this was for the last few days, and I was freezing cold.
winter girlies. This is cute. <clears throat> this is real cute, but I wouldn't wear it because I don't like I don't like to wear strapless bras and I need a uh -oh, and I have to have a bra. But for the girls who don't, this little dress is really cute. And it is $40. I like that. It probably will stop on me at a weird length, but it's cute. With the halter top, and it's adjustable around the neck so that you can adjust it and make it tighter, which is good. Wish it had like some kind of boob thing to help you stay up, but it doesn't. I have been looking for a short blue jean skirt since last year. I have not been able to find one. They already got the little linen sets out for the spring. I'm not into that color. I will probably do more this color with the matching shorts. Y'all know they have these out every year for the spring. I did pick up that set. We'll try that one when we get to the house. I am not one of those people that come to Target all the time. So when I come to Target, I actually do. <laughs> I'd be a little bit, I do be excited because I don't come often. So let's check out. Oh, this is cute. Cute for the spring little um windbreaker windbreaker type jacket oh this one nasty like ugh. you don't want to touch that one but this is cute 45 dollars the back is cute i already got a jacket very very similar to that so i definitely don't need it okay valentine uh -oh. pulling everything off the thing Little Valentine's Day hookup. I be I forget it's Easter coming up too. So that's probably that Easter stuff. Let's see what we got over here. Already got one actually just like this one. <clears throat> okay. Yes, I like that coat. That's real cute. If you're looking for a headband similar to like the one that I be wearing, this is one they have at Target. It's $10. And then this one really 
basically is it I just like the ones that have the little top knot let me show y'all it's not gonna let us be great can y'all see me <laughs> those are the kind that I like okay Jellies. <laughs> Too cute. <laughs> oh my god, look at these little boots. <laughs> look at these. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Here is a little Bottega dupe. You looking for a Bottega dupe? They got you. This is cute. So I'm thinking about getting a new coffee pot. Um, I don't even see the one I have. I think, yes, this is the one that I have now. This Keurig here with the water here. But I kind of want a Nespresso, maybe. Because the coffee always comes out looking so good and creamy. So I'm wanting to get something a little bit more fancier. So maybe this one. But can you look? I gotta read up on them because I don't like the little small cups of coffee. I like that one, but I don't want to use um I don't want to use beans. I prefer to keep using the pods. See, like that one is nice. I think this one on sale. It's on sale for one twenty nine. Three brew styles. What do it say? We need to know who would take coffee pods. No. Hmm. I really like aesthetically how this one looks or even this one I don't know we gotta do some research <laughs>
I am back in the car from Target. Drop my daughter off at work. We always go in Target in split ways because everybody be trying to do their own thing in Target. <laughs> but like I told y'all, I don't go to Target like that. I only go to literally, I really only go to Target when I need something every now and again. Um, I would just go into Target just to see what they have. But for the, man, we don't have a stop sign. These people just be making up rules as they go. But, um, yeah, I don't usually just go into Target to just randomly get stuff. That rarely happens. People always staring at me when this camera is up in this dashboard. <laughs> I need to, I wish I could get, I mean, I could, but I wouldn't get my front windows tinted but it's like as they coming towards me they can see this tall camera standing up on my dashboard but yeah what are y'all doing today is sunday like i said i think i told y'all today was sunday i think let me see what today i'm so conflict girl i do not let me stop saying girl friends i don't know what today is the 28th i should have known that because i wish my cousin a happy birthday this morning and i knew her birthday was on the 28th but um i'm about to go to jason's deli real quick and grab me a salad from the salad bar and then go by my mom's house and then i'm going back home because i have to edit today's vlog and it's already four o'clock so i'm behind which now i'm debating if i'm even gonna go if i'm even going to go by my mom's or i might just wait until tomorrow afternoon Hey, oh my goodness saturday it rained and rained and rained like it rained overnight from friday it was pouring down friday pouring down yesterday it will stop it kind of cleared up looking like it wanted to do better okay it looked like it wanted to do better then it tricked us again and it started raining again i don't know how this angle is i'm trying not to have it focused on the mirror and me and my husband went to this little restaurant. We kept, <laughs> so we kept seeing this restaurant on TikTok, right? So we go to the restaurant. The food was trash, trash, okay? Straight trash, yeah. So we ended up going to this restaurant yesterday that we, we tried this restaurant before. And the one time we went, it's a black owned restaurant. And the, it was a sign on the door saying that they were out of town on vacation and they'll be open when they get back. Basically is what the sign said and then we went yesterday now mind you it was pouring down rain it's such an ugly gloomy rainy day we were gonna door dash it but i wanted a seafood platter i hadn't had like fried seafood in so long so i was like you know i want some fried seafood so i told my husband it's just better for us to go in there and sit down and eat it versus getting it door dash because it's gonna be kind of soggy and those little plastic containers and stuff like that so i ended up ordering and i don't want to put the restaurant out there like that because you know everybody's flavor and palates are different i got the seafood platter which was um, two pieces of fried catfish shrimp and a crab cake and it came with size my size i got were collard greens and kale with the smoked turkey and i got cajun corn on a cob which was basically corn on a cob with cajun seasoning on it of course the corn was good i mean how could you really go wrong with corn on a cob but the greens it was a collard greens and a kale it wasn't bad it you know but one thing about me i don't like greens that has that vinegar i cannot stand when greens have vinegar because i feel like to me people don't take the time out to season their greens good enough because to me the vinegar just overpowers any kind of any kind of seasoning or anything that you put in it and then it's advertised as having turkey meat but it didn't have not one piece of turkey in there okay smoked turkey um what else the catfish was okay it was frozen it wasn't fresh catfish and honestly i don't even eat catfish i have not eaten catfish in probably over 15 years like it has been a long time i used to buy the catfish nuggets back back in the day when food stamps used to be plentiful <laughs> hey no shame in my game we used to get them 
Times was times wasn't easy back then, okay? No shame in my game. Y'all done talked y'all ears off. So let's run in here. I'm gonna grab a salad and then I'll be back. All right, y'all. Hey y'all, today is Monday the 29th and I did not come in yesterday. I did not, I did not, I did not, I did not <laughs> come in and um, show you all what I bought from Target. I think you've seen it when I was scanning it, but it probably wasn't a good, um, a good, you know, not everything that I bought. But I ended up going to Target, like I said, because I needed to get the things for my trip. So, and then I needed like a few little personal items too. But I ended up getting these cloths here. And these are actually pretty big. I used them this morning. They're the oval size ones. And I like these better because I feel like you can get like a better grip. Like you can get in there. So, instead of the little small little little ones so i grabbed those <clears throat> sanitary napkins um i read up <laughs> no but i got more of the what is this one this one is the glowing skin ali multivitamins and then the flawless complexion and honestly i've switched up a few things on my skincare and it's actually starting to work. My skin is actually starting to look a lot better. Now, my forehead is still broke out because, honestly, I'm a picker. I'm a picker. I'm a picker. I like to pick bumps. That's mainly the problem why, you know. But I've been using um, Proactive. And then I just got some of the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. And it had like good, good reviews. So we're going to try that one out too. But let's get back to the haul. But got these. I got three packs of the Cottonelle Flushable Wipes because I have to have flushable wipes. <laughs> I got some Clorox wipes to wipe stuff down. I also got some Lysol to go. <clears throat> I always have either Lysol or, um, gosh, I forget the name of the other one, but I always have some kind of spray. I usually keep it in my suitcase because a lot of times when we go to like Florida and stuff like that, we drive. So a lot of the stuff I just keep packed, but because I'm taking a flight this time, I have these, which sometimes I can't, I'm not for sure if I'm going to carry a carry on. That's another reason why I'm buying these because normally I would just pack the bigger stuff in my suitcase and just call it a day and, you know, do a bag check. But I don't know if I'm going to take just a smaller suitcase and just, you know, roll with that or what. And then I bought two travel lint rollers. I bought mouthwash. I needed more razors, so I got some razors. I also bought more of the multivitamin uh, for women. I really like these. They don't make me feel nauseous. I don't burp up that, that taste. So, so far, so good with those. And then I had to go to the beauty supply because I'm going to get my hair done um, Friday. I'm getting my hair done Friday and my nails done Thursday. But I needed some oil sheen, travel size oil sheen. And I really only went to get this, but they told me I had to have a, it was a $5 minimum to pay by card. So I do use this spritz. So I did just go ahead and pick this up too, because I might need it. So I don't know, <laughs> but that's everything that I picked up yesterday. I'm about to go downstairs. It's about 1030 and I'm drinking my coffee quite late today. But I'm actually about to go downstairs and make the coffee with the protein shake and the iced um, Starbucks coffee. I'll take y'all downstairs. I'll show y'all how I made mine when I made it before. Like I told you, I didn't make it with the cafe latte protein. I think I had like French vanilla or something. And it was actually pretty good. So I'm kind of excited. My husband drank the protein shake just alone by itself, the cafe latte one. He said it tastes like coffee and he enjoyed it. So... He's not a big coffee, coffee drinker. So if he liked it, then it must be good. So 
I'll take y'all downstairs to do that and then we'll go ahead and close this blog out because I wasn't able to get the blog out for Sunday. So today is Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is Monday. And I do want to make sure that I do get this vlog out for you all today because we got to keep on schedule because I'm about to be traveling and things like that. So we got to keep on on schedule. All right. So let's go downstairs, make this coffee and I'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs> I didn't show y'all. I actually have forgot. Sorry, y'all. But I ended up getting, I think I showed you, I think I showed you all this skirt. I thought the 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 um the split was in the back, but it's actually in the front. And I like how it kind of like have that little crisscross. Can y'all see that? Like the little crisscross effect at the top. I think that's cute. I got that. And then they have, I want to say they have about two, two or three variations of sweatshirts. They have some that have a hood. I think one that is maybe zip I don't know but I ended up getting this one which had a let me show y'all I kind of have oh, kind of have like a kind of like a mock net but when you put it on this actually comes down so it, it looks really neat and then I like the length of it where it stops on the actual skirt so it's like the skirt is super long I actually have to to um roll the skirt up in the waist one time and I did get this in a large and it was only $25 the shirt was $25 too and I got the shirt um in the large as well because the extra large was just looking too big and it was $25 too so I'm thinking about taking this but then again I'm like I don't know because I'm thinking it might be a little chilly so I don't think I'm going to take that um, take that with me because I think it's going to be a little bit too chilly. And one thing about it, I do not like <laughs> I do not like for my legs to be cold, okay? I don't like to be cold, period. So, yeah. So, now that's everything that I picked up yesterday. So, let's go down here and make us some coffee. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, I got everything laid out. I got the medium roast did i get no i'm sorry i got the blonde roast unsweetened black <laughs> iced coffee starbucks and then this is the protein shake and it is the where's the flavor oh the flavor is down here the cafe latte flavor now like i said these protein shakes alone um, with just like the vanilla, the chocolate, and the strawberry is actually really, really good. So if you are a type of person that likes to drink um, protein shakes, this will be a perfect drink for you to drink because it's actually very, very tasty. I'm, now, I'm not saying this one, but I'm telling you the strawberry, the chocolate, and the vanilla, you like that. It's, it's good. So let me get some ice. I just rinse my glass out so let me get some ice and i'm just showing y'all how i make it i'm sure you've been seeing it everywhere <laughs> everywhere online i'm not gonna use that big old piece i'm sure and i actually hadn't even opened up my coffee and the protein shake has been in the refrigerator for a couple of days too so it's cold as well i hope y'all had a good weekend i did actually yeah i poured this in the first now you have to keep in mind too that the protein shake is um coffee and has caffeine not coffee, but it has caffeine. Make sure you stir this because sometimes when you get to the bottom, it has like that, not powder, but like, you know, where everything kind of settles at the bottom. So I just, and I do that with every protein shake because you just have to. So... I also have some un 
not un, but um, sugar-free vanilla syrup too, if I need some. I'm trying to keep this as healthy as possible, okay? bad but I do need a, I need something hmm. actually like that a lot all right so I'll probably drink the other half of this um, with my salad for lunch and let's try putting a little bit of the French vanilla. I mean, why I keep calling this French vanilla? Sugar-free vanilla. Let's see how that tastes. Because <clears throat> it's missing something. Like, it need a little something. Because at this point, it's just giving very much just coffee. Follow directions. <sighs> Just a little splash, you don't need much. should do it mm-hmm 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 that was it that's all I need all right y'all well, well, that is all I got going on right now. That's all I got for y'all on this vlog. I am about to get it edited and get it out to you all today. So with that being said, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead, consider subscribing. If you are Consider subscribing. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you. And um, yeah, so y'all get prepared for this travel vlog, okay? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff, all right? All right, so I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, bye, y'all. <laughs>